Okay, welcome to Haydock Park for the Tommy Whittle Handicap Chase. Thanks for those calls from Ascot Doug. So we've got a three mile handicap here. 0 to 140. Number one is Maximum Impact. Two is I'm Quackers. Three, Major Barris. Four, Napoleon Gray. Five, Powerful Beast. Six is Felin Ashkelani. Seven, The Put. Eight, You Do Hoodoo. Nine, Fakon Melancholic. Ten, Aldgate Put. Eleven, Stand Out King. Twelve, Schechter. Starfen is 13. Borough Hill is 14. King George is 15. James Gray is 16. And 17 is Sister Winning. So 17, the starter's already got them away. And these soft conditions here at Haydock for the Tommy Whittle. So as we're going to go straight into a bend here. And there's a fair few that are going to get caught wide. Namely Sister Winning and Feline Ashkelani. The one even further wider is Major Barris now. So hopefully they'll settle down. They've got three miles to get in better order. But it's Burry Hill Lad that leads them up front by a length or so to the put. And the remainder of the pack's just been led by Aldg Aldgate Put and Napoleon Gray as they go into the first. Everybody's over it. No, we've lost one. Major Barris was a faller there. He'd gone very, very wide. And he's gone at the first. So leading us, it's Burry Hill Lad and the put together. Just by a length, they go into the second. This time everybody gets over it. Bit of a poor jump there in the blue silks of Schechter. He's demoted himself right in towards last place with King George. But it's still Burry Hill Lad that leads us by a length or so to the put. And we've got a couple of lengths back to Napoleon Gray. Gray, who's now moved alongside the put in second. And they're being followed through by Powerful Beast. And we've got Allgate put against the fence. Blue silks and yellow cap of You Do Who Do. Out wide here still is Sister Winning. And we've got a f the remainder just following a length or so through. And they'll get over the fourth there, but there's a few sticky jumps, especially again by Schechter. This made himself by a couple of lengths into the rear. So they're going to this ditch. They're over the fifth. And we lost one there. Fakon Melancholic has gone. Bad luck for Martin Leadham there. That was a winner last week. So, uh, not the, the double that you were hoping. So, as they go around this bend again, it's the Put and Borough Hill lad that lead neck and neck. And there are a couple of links back to You Do Who Do. And Powerful Beast, Napoleon Gray, Felin Ashkelani wider. And inside of that is Starfen in the green silks. Alongside Starfen is Standout King. And we've got the silks of. Uh, Maximum impact on the wide outside for Joshua against the fence in the pink is James Gray, then King George and I'm Quackers, Sister Warning and Schechter at the rear. So they're through the seven. A couple of, just under two miles still to travel and it's still the put that leads. He's got himself a two length advantage over Borough Hill Lad now. The rest of the pack are fairly tightly together as they go over the eighth. One that didn't take that very well and went through the top was Powerful Beast and demoted himself into the middle of the pack. But up front is still the put. Put leading with Borough Hill Lad, Napoleon Gray, Starfen. And we've got Powerful Beast a little bit wider. Sorry, in the middle of the pack there. The one out wide actually is a uh, oh, bad day of uh, calling here. Maximum impact. <laughs> So as they go past the grandstand, we've got the Put and Borough Hill lads still uh, together, just by half a length of the circuit left to run. And then leading the chasing pack is Staff M, Maximan Put on the outside, and Standout King against the fences, Napoleon Graham. We're getting one pulled up there as Schechter's going. Unlucky for Mr. Follis, had some poor jumping, and decided to give up the ghost. So it's the Put that still leads us, Borough Hill lad. There are a couple as they go round this bend this time, not to be pulled wide. Although the one that is widest is maximum input. As they go down this back straight now. Over the tenth. Everybody's made it. Bit of a slow jump by Sister Warning towards the rear. But we're getting fairly close here. There's probably only eight to ten lengths from first to last. Anything could win this as they come down this back straight slightly downhill. And it's still Borough Hill having the put the lead them into the eleventh. Oh, and we've lost another one there. Feline Ashkelani's gone. So it's Borough Hill having the put. Still lead him. And the rest of the pack, just being headed by Standout King and Napoleon Gray against the fences, you do who do. Out wide is Maximum Impact, they get over the 12th. Maximum Impact is just being pushed along now to get a better position. Still a little bit wide as we approach this final bend into the home term with seven furlongs left to run. And it's still the Put and Burry Hill lad, been there since the beginning. Maximum Put, Jockey starts to push him along now to get better position as they approach the 13th, jumps it really well and fast and gets himself a two length advantage just from the jump. Moves over towards the fence now, I should think, as they go around this bend across the ditch, which is the 14th. 
Four to go, and it's maximum input that leads. Moves over towards the round now. Going to come alongside the put. These two now lead. The one that's fallen back now is Borough Hill Lad. But it's the two up front, the put and maximum input. Got a couple of lengths. Here comes Napoleon Gray out of the pack with all gate put and you do who do. They're all making a challenge for the lead now, but it's the put that's starting to pull away as they approach the 15th. They all get over it. It's the put from all gate put. Matt Napoleon Gray, maximum input against the fence and got nowhere to go. So up front is all gate put. Three and a half furlongs left to jump. A couple to go. It's all gate put from Napoleon Gray over the 16th. Two to two to jump and it's all gate put starting to pull away now by a good couple of lengths from Napoleon and Gray who's starting to go backwards. One that's making out good ground now on the outside is Standout King but it's all gate put that leads from Standout King. Fastest finish now you do who do. Goes into the 17th a poor jump by all gate put. Dove through it and has allowed Standout King a maximum input to challenge alongside you do who do. It's between these four it's all gate put. Pressing on again. We're just about to approach the final furlong. It's all gate put from Standout King. It's these two into the last. They both jump it well. All gate put faster. All gate put leads by a couple but here comes Standout King again. Half a furlong left to run. All gate put. All gate put. All gate put. Wins the Tommy Whittle handicap chase from a fast finishing staff end and standout king. I think fourth was you do who do. So a great win there for Carl Arrogante. Daniel. And it is all gate put for Carl Arrogante that wins it. Second is standout king for Darren Howes. Third is staff end for Kevin Meanhan. Fourth was you do who do for David Robertson. And fifth was maximum impact for Joshua Sutherland.